Welcome to the Hamsi Analytics Daily Market Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Tuesday, May 22, 2012. For the market internals, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline differential closed at 69. The Nasdaq advanced decline differential closed at negative 865. There were four new 52-week highs for the S&P 500 and five new 52-week lows for the S&P 500. For the volatility, there were 540,000 contracts traded on the VIX and the total premium was 142 million. The dollar weighted put call ratio on June, we saw a 0.31 reading with 49% of the total premium paid. On July, we saw a 0.14 reading with 9% of the total premium paid. And on August, we saw a 0.08 with 27% of the total premium paid. We have a special offer by TradeStation. Get your Hamsley Analytics proprietary indicators paid by TradeStation. Contact Active Traders Office in Chicago, Peter Albino, at the number listed below. Here we have the daily chart on ES. As you can see here, we were down two and a quarter handles. We sold off pretty much on the close. It was a pretty nasty sell off to the close, and then we bounced off the low. You can see here the intraday action. Here we started selling off. The peak was during the almost the close of Europe, and then we just drift lower and lower. And then here at the two, we started selling off pretty hard, and 2:30 we sold off really hard. But then we bounced back. We didn't close at the low, but we closed down for the day. On the daily chart, we are still on the negative one negative to Sigma channel we have to break that zero stick line here to go higher still CI and CI dip pointing downwards so that's not good with the moving averages we talked 100 day 150 day moving average to the downside and bounce from it and we touched the 10 day moving average on the upside and bounce down from it so that was pretty much the action from on gold Today on gold futures we had a down day, one and a half, uh, one and a percent down, uh, one sixty seven level right now, fifteen sixty seven level. Uh, we took much of uh, the two gains that we had on the previous days. Still pointing downwards. We need to see what happens if we are going to test that fifteen twenty five level again, or if we're gonna break it to the downside. So we're keeping an eye on that, on that one. For silver, pretty much the same, not as bad as gold, down 0.66, but um, another red day for silver, taking most of the uh, day before Friday's gains for today's session. So we're looking to see if we're going to test the lows again, maybe break them this time, the 26, 20 level. Or see what happens with this triple bottom that we're forming here for the VIX. And uh, we were up two and a half percent. Not much happening here on the VIX. The 2254 level. We're watching the 2570 for the 200 day moving average or the 1999 to go lower. So we'll see what happens here with the VIX. If we're going to see more volatility come to the market. Or if we're gonna settle for a uh, easy summer here. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.